I can't wait to travel north to target Spanish mackerel, wahoo, and all those tropical reef fish that taste amazing. Until then, I'm going to give it a good crack at turning my local species into something special. Today, I'm doing fish wraps with a spicy salsa. This is going to be awesome. Lockdown hasn't been too bad for me, I guess. I've had loads of footage I've needed to work through to get finalised and edited, and being stuck at home has given me that time. Now these dives were filmed six or seven weeks ago when the weather was primo, the water came clear and flat, so we took the opportunity to get out, get ourselves a feeder fish. I hope you like it. On our first spot for the day, we found some structure pretty shallow in 8 to 10 metres of water. We were targeting brim and it was looking promising. On the descent to the bottom, I could clearly make out where my targets were. So I positioned myself to the left of the reef. I dropped down slow and calm, making sure not to make any sudden movements, which worked a treat. So it's pretty much the same every time. We find some good ground, I get to the bottom, take some cover, relax and wait till the fish come in. They might only be brim and darky at the moment, but it's all about honing my skills. So when I come across a big kingy, some snapper or a jew, it's all gonna be worth it. This is the selective part of spearfishing that makes the hunt so enjoyable. I've got a load of fish schooling up, but there's only a couple in there I'm willing to target. Again, it's about staying calm, not making any sudden movements and waiting for a shot to present itself. I still missed anyway. So we decided to travel a little further down the coast. We found some more structure and we knew it'd have fish. I missed this guy, but I could see him from the surface still hanging around, so I took another dive. Unfortunately, he was spooked. He seen me coming, my dive bomb approach didn't work, and he was out of there. Just seen another monster one, hey? So we kept swimming, covering some more ground, and I often find the brim sitting over these sandy patches between the reef. Nice big ray coming in to check it out too. Not too far away, I found a cave where several brim schooled up. They obviously weren't threatened, they were pretty relaxed and I just had to be patient for a shot. Now 
no real monsters today, but it's still great to practice my technique and be ready for that big one. The water was clear enough this day, I could still see him hanging around, so I thought I'd take another dive. Unfortunately, my GoPro was going flat. And of course, the instant it dies, you know something amazing's about to happen. So I'm just about to climb into the boat, and I hear the boys call, Dolphin! Dolphin! I literally turn around and I am eyeball to eyeball at arm's length with this dolphin. He proceeded to swim under the boat, turn around and casually swam back at me. I was the only one in the water with him at the time and we locked eyes which was just surreal. It was such a cool experience. I heard a saying once, there's no such thing as luck. Luck is being prepared when opportunity presents itself, and I totally agree. I got one. <laughs> yeah, they all sort of look... I wasn't sure, hey. Spearfishing for me is just about practicing good technique, being relaxed and patient. The shot will either present itself or it won't and I just have to be ready when it does. Can you just feed that off, off the line? It's going to be too hard to get it off the shaft. Can you just feed it? I've taken the line off. Yeah, feed it, feed it down the line. I might just see if I can plug one more. What have you done to my boat? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, go that way, go that way. Blood bath at the house. Mm -hmm. oh. Do you want water in your tub? Uh, yeah. Got the fish drying out. Yeah, might as well. So this was Laurie's catch for the day. A lobster, a slipper lobster. But the fish of the day was his one and a half kilo brim. It was a ripper. One, four, five. Four, one and a half kilo. He's a freaking monster. So what have we got today? Four really good brim. Two really good drummer and a couple of darky. I think you call that a good day in the water. One of these days I'm gonna get myself a nice big kingy. Hopefully it's not too far away this summer or a nice snapper so I can uh, cook up something a little bit different. Until then, I'm left with one of my local species, the humble old black drummer. It's not a bad fish, nice big white fleshy steaks, plenty of meat on the fish. Uh, maybe not the best fish around, but uh, I can still do it justice. So let's get into it. Look at all those colors. How good does that look? Yum. First, we're gonna add to our bowl our avocado, a good, Good avocado. Then we're gonna add as much red onion as you like. Then uh, a good handful of cherry tomatoes. Fresh oh, coriander straight out of the garden. And maybe just a little bit of parsley. Oh yeah, just a tiny bit of parsley. Next we've got our jalapenos for a bit of bite and some capsicum. Then, just for something a little different, what I like is a four bean mix, maybe a quarter of a can of beans. A little spoon of garlic. Squeeze a lemon. One last thing I'm just going to put in. I'm just going to put a bit of balsamic dressing. Just a smidge. Just a smidge, just a flavour it. So what we've got is our avocado. 
red onion, tomato, coriander, jalapenos, lemon, garlic, capsicum, four bean mix with a bit of the balsamic and a squeeze of lemon. That's our salsa. <laughs> just need to stir that up, but how good does that look? I'm just gonna stick that in the fridge to get it nice and cold while I barbecue my fish. Okay, so from about a one and a half to two kilo fish, I can get some really good steaks. I've just got to add some flavorings and that's going to be great. Uh, my beautiful big mango tree just going to fruit now. Hopefully get 20 or 30 mangoes sitting right above my barbecue. Maybe I'll be able to incorporate some mango with a fish. Okay, a bit of oil on the hot plate. As you can see, the hot plate is smoking hot. That's exactly what I want because these little fish fingers, they're going to cook in no time. A little bit of garlic. Yum. Then we're going to get our fish on. Oh, wow. The smell of that garlic is uh, unbelievable. Also going to give them a crack of salt. How good is that look? Fresh fish. This went away with a crack of salt and some garlic. Yummo. Okay, we are cooking. We've got our wraps, our fish, our absolutely phenomenal salsa. We got some baby spinach and rocket. I got some peri peri sauce, garlic aioli, and a bit of sweet chili. These are going to be incredible. Let's start with a wrap. Let's pour. I'm just gonna slice this. It's just gonna sit flat instead of sticking up. See like that? Beautiful. Now, I'm going to pour it. Oh man, have a go of that. And we're going to put on half a dozen big old hunks of fish. Cracked salt, maybe some good black cracked pepper. Yum. We got some peri peri sauce. The hot one. Oh, a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of sweet chili. And definitely want some garlic aioli. Last but not least, a squeeze of lime. Oh. Oh, it's too big, I can't even close it. So if you like my style of living, give it a like and leave me a comment and hit that notifications for all my future content. I'm Drew from Man Alive. I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.